Okay, let's see how this works. I'm using Audacity here, and uh, you can create some of your own files like uh, station ID and that sort of thing. I started doing a track here. I don't really want this track, so I can either exit out right here, or I could have gone up to tracks and say uh, delete the track, although it doesn't show up now because there is no track. So let's say you wanted to do a demonstration audio, so I'm going to try one right now. Okay, this is W6FCC using RSBA1 uh, transmitting to an IC7300 radio uh, somewhere far away from California considering the uh, internet to be a long feed line. We're uh, using this program for demonstration right now but uh, I've used it for about a year and a half and it works very very well and setting up some demonstrations to show how to do slow scan TV using RSBA1 and a remote transmitter. So this is Jeff W6FCC doing a demo of creating an audio and then editing it with this uh, program here called Audacity and it's free. So here we go, we now have a program. Okay, this is W6FCC using RSBA1 uh, transmitting to an IC7300 radio uh, somewhere far away from California considering the uh, internet to be a long feed line. Okay, so you have this audio and you want to save it. Now you can do things like removing all the spaces. There's all kinds of effects that you can do here. Uh, changing the pitch and click removals and all different kinds of things. It's just quite a nice program. Okay, but let me let me do this instead. I'm going to do save. I want to save the track. So let me export the audio. And I want to, I don't want this file name, but I want to export it as a wave signed. And right now it is uh, 11 kilohertz 32-bit float. This should work. But if not, you can always go up here and say effects and you can, uh, let's see, track, you can resample it to a different rate. I think if you resample it down to 8,000, it might work better. So let's try that. I think that 11 will work, but let's just try 8,000. It resamples it and it should sound pretty much the same. Uh, somewhere far away from California. Okay, so it sounds all right. And there's ways to reduce all the spaces in here. Let's see if I can do that. Uh, noise reduction, truncate silence. Oh, it's in here. I've done it before. Oh, we could add some reverb to it. That'd be kind of cute. You can make it sound like you're in Mexico. Okay, this is W6FCC using RSBA1. Uh, transmitting to an IC. Whoops. Uh, this sometimes happens in Windows. Um, don't really care for that, but let's save it anyway. So now what you do is you go ahead and say save, file, save, export audio. And I'm going to put it over here in, uh, oh, I'll put it in the SSTV, but probably not a necessarily good spot for it. Well, how about down here? Okay. So I come up here and I do uh, W6FCC station info with echo. And it's going to be a WAV file. And I could do a Jeff talking here, test track. This is fine. I'm going to just say OK. And it'll generate this file now that's sitting in that directory. Let me pause it and go grab the file. So I went over and uh, found the file here. Here it sits right here. I don't need uh, Audacity anymore right now. Put that down. And I don't need this anymore. Put that away. Here's the audio file. And I'm going to get it and use it. So let's go ahead and run RSBA1 again. Go ahead and run this. Probably gets a little bit old after a while. Let me connect to the radio. Connect to it and uh, serial port is 11, that's fine. Now I'm going to run up RSPA1 
and it's probably already set for this particular radio, which it is. So I'll go ahead and say connect. And then I'm going to put it in one of the voice memories. So let me go over here to voice and I have about uh, here's two-tone. I'll, I'll replace the two-tone transmitter with this audio. Just gonna, I copied that directory from over there and uh, where, where is it? I guess I stuck it in here. Date modified. Station info. Okay, so there it is. Go ahead and open that. And uh, that was two-tone. I'll just call this info. Okay, so now we have that stored there. And for the heck of it, let's see if it actually transmits. Let's see what happens here. Okay, this is W6FCC using RSBA1, uh, transmitting to an IC7300 radio uh, somewhere far away from California, considering the uh, internet to be a long feed line. We're uh, using this program for I don't know why it's uh, the audio is not coming through my earphones very loud, but it's there, and you can you can see that it's transmitting. So that is that. That's how you do it. As long as it's 11k or 8k, I made this one 8 kilohertz mono has to be mono, and you want to be sure that uh, that it's not stereo, and then you have to save it with the Microsoft format. Let me just show what, you, that, what I mean by that again. This is a WAVE Microsoft, Microsoft signed 16-bit PCM. You want to make sure there's a whole lot of other formats you could choose. These don't work. This one does. And then you give it a name and now you know how to create a file using Audacity with RSP1 you don't have to be at the radio now you can record your own IDs at the radio itself at the console but here's a way to do it remotely and then you can use these files uh, in RSP1 to identify your station so that's it W6FCC enough for now and hope you learned something